guys what's up what's new it's your girl star and i'm back again with another reaction video if you're new to this channel for, for the very first time please feel welcome you're awesome fabulous and amazing and i love and appreciate you guys so so very much so today we'll be reacting to inside of a church versus inside of a mass without further ado let's dive right in lovely people Boy, we had a time last night. Boy, we had a time last night. Oh, when the musicians get hit. friend used a horn to back him up. He said he will, and I believe his word. Because <laughs> I am a, a lot of day saint. I go to church like everybody else. I was a Jehovah Witness at one point, but I had to come from amongst them. Because they are not according to God's word. They are not according to his promise. <laughs> Oh, we belong together. 
together. That's right, Jimmy Lee. Hallelujah. today you walk in some of them there's more beards in there than there are out in the street I'm gonna tell you something facial hair is not apostolic however you want to cut it it's compromise I don't care if your leader says you can wear a beard, honey. Beard's nothing more than pride. You're not going to be dipped in Holy Ghost oil and run around looking like the world. We don't need beards. We need more oil. We need more Joe ashes. We need more people in an altar. We need more prayer rooms. We need more people digging into the things of God. You can look in the recipe of anointing, you'll never find beards, Brother Epley. You can look in the recipe of anointing, you're never going to find television. You can look in the recipe of anointing, and you're not going to find compromise. You can look in the recipe of anointing, and women are going to be covering their knees. You can look in the recipe of anointing, and men are still going to look like men, and women are still going to look like women. Somewhere, Joe Ash, you better protect the oil. But eat what you're supposed to eat. And don't eat five of them. I don't. I don't. I don't. All right. <laughs> you know what the Lord gave me to say. and we don't ask for help but God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or do yeah. and it hurts now it's going to hurt tomorrow yes. Miss Reese is going to hurt the next day yeah. but through it all through we learn to trust God yes, sir. pastor you're supposed to be singing Come on, let's sing have a time to get to the cemetery. Yes, you got to cut the preaching out and sing. Like there was a funeral and 
the man was talking about God and he was like, it's not time. Someone was like, it's not time for preaching. You're supposed to be praying or supposed to be singing so that we can go. We can, we can go. But why, why are you preaching? You're supposed to be praying or singing something like that. And I'm like, seriously, he's talking about God and you're going to say that. Right. And like, come on, why does persons have to behave like that in the house of God? It is just so <sighs> unnecessary. I don't see why they have to be going all, going on like that. <clears throat> They'll be rolling on the ground. They'll be all over the place, knocking down things, knocking down persons. Because I see a man... And the other one was so frightened when he fell to the ground. I'm like, why do Christians have to behave like that? It's like it's for entertainment. It's like they're not in the house of God. They're like at the club and it's all about excitement. It's all about comedy. It's all about having fun. You can have fun, right? Um, in, in God. But come on, it's like a mockery these videos. Right? There's no reading of the word of God. There's nothing. It's like they're just playing around, playing with God. I, I'm I, when the devil sees this, I, I'm I'm guessing that he smiles and says that he's doing a good job in these churches. Because all I see is just mockery. All I see is just comedy. All I see is these people walking with God, but they're holding hands with the devil. This is just so ridiculous. Anyway, guys, let's let's go into the mass and see if we can get all of that, what we just see, that we can unsee it. <laughs> let's see what we can um, get from going to the mass. Let's dive right in, guys. وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَى جَهَنَّمَ زُمَرًا حَتَّى إِذَا جَاءُوهَا فُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابُهَا حَتَّى إِذَا جَاءُوهَا فُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابُهَا وقال لهم خزنتها ألم يأتكم ألم يأتكم رسل منكم يتلون عليكم آيات ربكم وينذرونكم وينذرونكم لقاء كلمة العذاب على الكافرين قيل ادخلوا أبواب جهنم خالدين فيها خالدين فيها فبئس مثوى المتكبرين وسيق الذين اتقوا ربهم إلى الجنة زمرا حتى إذا جاءوها وفتحت أبوابها وقال لهم خزنتها حيث نشاء 
فنعم أجر العاملين وترى الملائكة حافين من حول العرش يسبحون بحمد ربهم يسبحون بحمد ربهم وقضي بينهم بالحق وقيل الحمد لله رب العالمين you um get when you listen to this recitation of the quran this is what you get you get you feel like there's just um there's just purpose you feel like you belong you feel like there is peace you feel like there's just something that is significant added to your life right you feel like you're on the right path you feel like there's no darkness around you, you just light, the light of God. Is it does um is it okay when um you're in the mass and just as how we are watching um these videos and you do get emotional, you do um you do feel the subjection of God while you're trying to submit yourself to God and you get emotion, is that okay if you like cry while the 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 Quran is being recited? Is it okay if you you just break down and just let everything out? Do do you get in trouble for that while the recitation is going on? I mean, you're not, you're not going to like interrupt, but you know, you're just crying, you're just letting out things because when you think of the goodness of God and what he has done and uh, to, to feel this connection that the Quran, the recitation of the Quran gives you, bring to your life, it's like meaning, meaningful, right? And you're just letting it out. Because most time, even behind camera, right? When I'm off camera, when I'm off here, I mean, guys, when I, I watch some of these videos, right? In my spare time, I just break down. I literally break down. Sometimes I don't even get to finish them because how I feel. Because each day I feel like there's just something missing. Right, I feel like I'm on a journey, but there's like a, um there's a a road that goes right, a road that goes left, but I'm on the road that I've always been on, but I know that that road can lead to something good, and I just feel like there's just something so special about the path to Islam. There's just something special in the Quran that I think that will just ignite something in us, in our hearts, that will bring us closer to God, have a connection with God. I don't know. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but there is just something so divine when the Quran is being recited. And it doesn't matter what voice um it is um being recited um in it doesn't matter what language it is being recited in whether it is arabic and we can't understand even if we see the translation on the screen it's just something so special so divine so pure right and to, to know that it's in a different language and we only speak like english and we only speak like creole and to see that it has such um, effect on us, even though it's a different language that we don't understand without translation. It is just so amazing, guys. I totally forget about the first video. I'm just so head over heels with the second one. Wow. He could not even stand up. Right? It's... 
the presence of God. He was so overwhelmed that he broke down while the Quran was being recited. And he, there's just such, the Quran is just so powerful that it does this to one, one's heart, right? It does this to one, one's mind. It totally transforms one. Um, a person's a person's mind a person's heart the way how a person live it is just so powerful guys so amazing anyway guys thank you so much for this video thank you so much thank you so so very much anyway we come to the end of another reaction video if you're new to the channel for the very first time please feel welcome you're awesome fabulous and amazing and i love and appreciate you guys so so very much let lovely do it guys I wish I had a time you turn me on.